everybody, welcome back. It is Monday, which means it's new game day. That's right, it is new game day. I haven't had a uh, new game in a while. It's because I've been playing four games at once. Um, so now that I have finished uh, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, and I'm taking a hiatus from Metal Arms, I'll probably come back to it later, but for now I'm taking a hiatus. So now it's new game day. And what's the new game that we're playing today? It's actually a game from a franchise that I, I personally love. And I'm really excited to be um, playing it. So here it is. Ratchet and Clank. That's right. It's the first in the series of the Ratchet and Clank games. These games, along with Jack and Dexter, Sly Cooper, basically were my, you know, uh, middle to high school years. This is what I grew up playing back in 2002. That's right, I think I was just entering high school at that time. So these are games that, you know, I played that I loved. I remember when I first um, saw Ratchet and Clank. It was actually at the Walmart uh, by where I live. I was just walking through and I saw this up on the shelf and I was like, that looks cool. It's got all these weapons, it's got buddy combination, and I just thought that it was awesome. And then I played it and I realized it was awesome. So uh, this is what we're going to be playing. This is a new game. And yeah, that means that it opens us up to Ratchet and Clank going Commando, uh, Up Your Arsenal, Deadlock, Secret Agent Clank, all those. Um, but some of them were more than the $5, um, you know, the $5 price tag that I use uh, to judge what games I'm going to be playing. But this and the next two, actually, I got all for $10. That's right, I got the entire first three games for 10 bucks. So I'm excited. We are going to be playing this great game by Insomniac Games. And I hope you guys are ready for this because this is going to be awesome. So let's do this. Let's play Ratchet and Clank. So yeah, we're going to start a new game. Let's, uh, nope, starting a new game. Empty slot. I love this game. This is one of my favorite. Kalazi Plaid 2, Planet Veldin. It's our hero! It's Ratchet. Hey, bud. Okay, yeah, come on. Final step, attach robotic ignition system. Thank you for using help desk technology. Where are we going? Meanwhile, in a factory on a planet far, far away. This is the origin of Ratchet and Clank. Haha, <laughs> look, it's Clank. What? Come on, dude. Oh, look, it's one of those video bots. Well, he's not supposed to be doing that. <gasps> That's not good. Yeah, run between his legs. It's like Mini Me. Like, I'm serious, he's essentially Mini Me. Push the go button. Your machine, you probably do know where to go. Just saying, he probably does. Approaching Planet Veldin. 11:47 a.m. local time. No, it's not. It's like 5:30 p.m. Whoa, whoa. Oh yeah. There was one thing in this game that, uh, although I love this franchise and I love these games, there is one part of it I. Th I think, yeah, I think it's this game that I'm not really a fan of, 
That's the flying of the ship in between planets. I think I think they fixed it in later games, and I think that it's still in this game. Um, I haven't played the original in a while. I've played every one. I mean, I've played this a, a few times over, but... Alright, come on, Ratchet. And also, when you throw your... Uh, Welcome to the Gadgetron Help Desk. We are here to offer you advice during your Well, thank you. Oh yeah, if you throw your ratchet, you can't move. Also, you gotta kind of be near your bolts, because they don't automatically gravitate towards you. Let's see if I can turn on subtitles. Uh, exit. Uh, subtitles. On. Exit. Subtitles. Okay. There we go. Alright. So, that's not that bad. Boom. 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 And, uh. Man, this is good. I'm, I'm so glad I, I was able to find, I found, like, the first, um, I think I found the entire collection, essentially, for ten bucks. Uh, like, well, at least the first, um... Alright, thank you. I will take you up on that. I think I found the first, all these games were like ten bucks for the first three. Um, you know, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Going Commando, and uh, Up Your Arsenal. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, this is like a buddy duo. I like buddy duo games, you know. Um, Banjo Kazooie, Ratchet and Clank, Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Gotta get all the bolts. I'm sorry, I know I should just rush through this game, but I need the bolts. And I think, uh... Camera. Left, right, reversed. There we go. And now, there we go, that's a lot better. Every game should have that option. KVEX, just saying. For those of you who don't know, Vex is another one of the games I play. So, what made me choose Ratchet and Clank? Well, I'm eventually going to play the games that I have in my intros. I decided, I decided that it was time to play one. And um, I figure what better than getting started on Ratchet and Clank, because that'll open up to all the other ones in the future. You know, when I get done with this, I can then possibly, uh, potentially, oh yeah, play uh, Going Commando. <laughs> I love the bomb glow. Uh, and this one, I don't know, I don't remember if you can... I don't remember if they up... I think, I don't know if they upgrade, I think you have to purchase upgrades. I know in the... see, because this is the first one, so it's, it's obviously different than the rest of them. Uh, I'm not sure if the actual glove upgrades. I think you gotta push it. F you. No oh, wait, no wait, come here. F you. F you, bro. Uh, oh. And at least I know that it's a game that I'm gonna like. I might get a little ragey sometimes at the flying missions, but um, other than that, the overall gameplay is good. And it's a game I know, so. The only, the only part of the games that are kind of, eh, you know, about are when you have to, um, oh, okay, well, I'm done. When, for instance, you gotta do something on one planet, then you gotta go to the next planet to get something to do the thing on the other planet, to go to the back to the original planet that you were just on. It is whatever. Captain Quark! You'll learn about him soon also. Interesting. Die! You're quite handy with your wrench. Yeah, he's quite handy with that wrench. I bet you he could strip your nuts. Well, he's on the radio every week. Save the solar system stuff anyway. Hello, 
fellow citizens of. My race, the Blog, have a small problem. Our planet has become so polluted, overpopulated, and poisonous that we are no longer able to dwell here. But I, Chairman Drake, have a solution. We are constructing a pristine new world using the cheapest hmm. planetary components available. So, so I don't trust what you. What does this mean to you, you my guys? Using highly sophisticated technology, which you could possibly understand, we will be extracting. I just I don't trust this guy, and I'm not sure why. Unfortunately, this change in mass will cause your planet to spin out of control and drift into the sun, where it will explode into a flaming ball of gas. But, of course, sacrifices must be made. Thank you for your cooperation. And if you don't like it, you can take your whiny, sniveling, snuff-nosed populations, form a line behind me, and kiss my... Still on. So, as you can see... Oh, it off, you idiot! He's trying to take parts from other planets. To build a planet. Well, those planets are hoes. Well, good luck getting Captain Quark to help you. Actually, you could help me. If you could use your ship to take me to the coordinates huh. contained in this info box, I might be able to gather further information there. That's a good point. Even if I wanted to, I can't. I'm missing a crucial component of the ship. You need a friend like this. Robotic ignition system. How did you know that? I, sir, happen to be equipped with the latest in robotic ignition systems. My programming allows me to start any ship I choose. So, I agree to take you to this wherever it is. Can you get my ship started for Nice. Me? That is what I'm proposing. I think it's a good deal. Deal. Let's go. Dex flight ship. Felden orbit. This could be a problem. Take care I of turned it. on subtitles. Why is it not? Whoa, oh. this is great! So that's where I've been stuck this whole time. Please return your appendix. Seriously, I turned on subtitles, didn't I? All right. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, and by the way, you could stop calling me sir. The name's Ratchet. Pleased to make your acquaintance, sir. You got a name? My serial number is B54296. Oops. I'll just call you Clank for short. Hang on. Okay. More more cutscenes. So you see, it would be most beneficial if your citizens were not in the city when my workers begin to move here. I'm just kidding. That's actually a compelling storyline. What happened to the subtitles? have no choice in the matter. Let's just see what Captain Quark has to say about that, my good man. <laughs> See what's so funny? Captain Quark could dispatch you without even breaking a sweat, you 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 need. You have now officially worn out your welcome and my patience. This is your last chance. Stop this madness now! Okay, wait. You're right. I will withdraw my troops. Really? No! He's all yours, gentlemen. What a jerk. Awesome. So it's saving. So we're going. We're continuing. Activate. Pyroblaster. Let's just exit. Let's save some bolts. Because there is one weapon in this game that cost, I think, either 400,000 or 4 million bolts. It's called the, uh, well, I, I won't spoil it for you, but uh, you'll see. Now we get to do some platforming. And as we all know, I am good when it comes to platforming. F you. Gotta get some bolts. Gotta get some more bolts. Always need bolts. Everybody needs bolts. Let me make sure the subtitles are on. Uh, 
They're on. I don't know what happened. Oh well. Anyway, let's uh. There we go. Got you, bitch. Who else wants some? You, huh? <laughs> You're dead. I'll take your bolts, though, and your nuts. Let's see here. Yeah. yeah. Alright, alright. Now we gotta climb. Get up there. Get up there. Ooh. -hoo. There we go. Um, okay, don't know why that's there, but huh. Hmm, I don't, I'm not going to be able to make that. Oh, I just go, I'm going to go over here. There we go. Ugh. See, this game was actually great in its generation. Cause it had, like, it was inventive, it was awesome. And who can forget those commercials that they had? Uh, I don't think for this one, but for like the other ones where they would actually, they would be like kids testing out uh, the games and stuff like that. They're, they're, or not the games, but the, uh, the weapons. Yeah, that was fun. That was, those were always fun. Ah, man. Sometimes the camera... Ah, man. Sometimes the camera doesn't point where you want it. It will get hung up on stuff. But that's okay. You can make small adjustments. And trust me, I'm a... I'm a... I'm a I need a good camera in games. You guys know this. You guys have been seeing me play for a while. But I don't know. This one has just... Like, even if the camera gets a little off, as sometimes the controls just really are really good. Ah! Ooh. Alright. Hey. Probably. Your escape transports are taking all the rich folks off this god darn planet. So why aren't you on one? Socioeconomic disparity. What? He hasn't got enough boats. Working people have to wait for Captain Quark to save us. Well, got anything worth a lot of boats? I got this thing. Shows two weirdos ditching their ship. It's got coordinates to a desert planet, too. An info bot. Ratchet, we could use that. Huh. Yeah, but... Like down a sewer pipe? Probably. Yay, Marva. Maybe, maybe. This is the solar ship radical. We seem to be under attack from the planet's surface. Relax, kid. It looks like some sort of fireworks display. Probably in your honor. Whoa! That was close. Ah! Right down, I can't concentrate. Well, we've been hit! Uh, an unexpected detour. When we land, I'll see if I can scare up an exhibition for you. We're not gonna live that long. Huh. Let's M screen! Eject! Eject! Dang. Did you see that guy on the left? That was Skid McMarks. Does he have uh, Skid McMarks? I doubt it. He's a pro hoverboarder. Always going off about how cool he is. Looks like yeah, he's pretty cool. I'll say, I've never seen him look so freaked out. Alright. Yay, new planets! Uh, but I actually know, um... I actually know we're supposed to be doing something else. Most planets have, like, two things that you need to do. And, uh, sometimes one, uh, you can do one of them that'll get you information on another planet. Then you need to go to that planet, do something on that planet so you can come back to this planet in order to... Uh, do the other thing that you need to do. Alright, so that guy must have dropped some bolts. Sewer pipe surfing. Alright, so let's uh, let's go down here. Get the bomb glove. Suck it, bitch. I said suck it, bitch!
to me. I'm just, I'm just trying to destroy you. You can die now. Thank you. <laughs> must kill this guy because he is annoying and he must be dead. That's right. Those of you who don't know what that was, Thunder Girl, she's flying like thunder. So everyone wonders what it's like to be me. Alright, I guess I can't open that. I thought I could. Normally when things are orange, it's not really orange, it's like glowy. Okay. Alright, let's take them out one at a time. Took him out, took both of them out. One shot, two for one, nice. To me. I am just trying to make a name for myself. What? Excuse me. Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, this uh, series of games for the PlayStation is actually it's it's one in the series of the other games that I like. I there are three major franchises for um, the series that I like for the uh, PS2. And I will probably be eventually playing it. Um, it should come as no shock to most of you, uh, the games that I play. There are some of the games that are in my intro, like Jack and Dexter. Love that series. And I almost decided to start Jack and Dexter besides Ratchet and Clank, but um, I will eventually, I will do um, Jack and Dexter. Because there's like three games, and yes, three games. I'm not including Jack X Racing or the, uh, the Lost uh, Prophecy, I think it was. Uh, of Jack and Dexter games. Excuse me. Uh, so, and also Sly Cooper. Love Sly Cooper. I was also thinking about doing Sly Cooper uh, for this one, but uh, I said that it was going to be one of my intro, and then I finally realized that Sly Cooper is not necessarily in my intro. I mean, kind of in the background, but that wouldn't really count. Mercenaries, torturers, assassins. I, I, I'll tell you anything. Here, take my info box. It's all I've got left. Sir, we're not assassins. Hold on. Let's see what he's got. It's Captain Quirk. Quirk. Has this ever happened to you? Hi, I'm Captain Quirk. And believe Hi, me, Captain there's Quirk. nothing worse than stirring down a Blargy and Snaggle Beast from the inside, and knowing your equipment isn't functioning properly. That's why I come to Al's Robo Shack for all my electronic needs. Al has been the exclusive repair shop for my super electro gadgets since I was nice. knee high to a sand mouse. If Al can't fix it, it's not broke. Right, Al? He you said it, pal. So if you're he looks like crime or just fighting grind, <laughs> come to Al's Robo Shack in Metropolis for all your robotic repairs. Still no subtitles. Al's Robo Shack. It's forecastic. I think we should go there. He looks like a combination between you know what this means. the Green Lantern and the Tick. Really sold out. No, it means Captain Quark is on Metropolis. We could tell him about this invasion. Yeah. All right, well let's go to Metropolis. Well, uh, a ship? What? You're not going to torture me? Well, this planetary chairman and I could arrange for you to borrow our courier ship. Cool. cool. You can count on us, sir. Right. Thank you, your chairman shipliness. Now that you have coordinates to three new planets, you can press the select button to bring up the menu here. Smart with the stuff. What? Oh, cool. Oh, there's still undiscovered area. Oh, cool. Uh, maybe we'll come back. This plan, but uh, for now, I think I'm done with this planet, and I think I'm just about done with this episode. So let's go, uh, let's at least go to the next planet. Get, grab some bolts here. Facing that way, okay, so let's go, yeah, let's go to the ship. Uh, 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 uh. Alright, let's go. Come on, ratchet. Ah, screw it. I'm not going to spend the time getting crates. 
Huh. There seems to be like stuff there or even behind. What's behind the ship? I don't know. I don't remember this area too well. Huh. Well, it seems to be closed off. That's great. Let's go check it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. I don't, yeah, I don't remember this. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Die. 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 Okay. Um, I'm guessing we're gonna have to. Alright, got that. Um, is it in here? No, I think it's in the other one. Excuse me. Oh yeah, I gotta get used to the swimming again. Uh, let's go back up for air real quick. Alright, so now we'll go. How do I just swim forward? Seriously, how do I just... It's like X to dive. I guess I just hold straight. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright, let's, uh... Huh? Okay. Who? Who? Excuse me. Trying to kill stuff here. Cool. Time we got. Oh, we got time. We'll finish up here. Mushroom cave and killing mushrooms gives you bolts. Apparently. Well, what was the point of that? Was something in there that I missed? I had to have missed something. I missed something. I know I did. If not, what's the point of that cave? Gotta be here. Did you guys see anything that I missed? I don't remember this. That's ah, screw it. Let's just go back. Uh, we'll go. We'll head to the next planet, and then I think that's gonna be it for the inaugural episode of Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I have all together. I have, I think, five or six Ratchet and Clank games. I have. Ratchet and Clank, Ratchet and Clank Go on Commando, Ratchet and Clank Up Your Arsenal, Ratchet Deadlocked, um, Secret Agent Clank, and one for the PS3, Ratchet and Clank, uh, Tools of, uh, Tools of Destruction. Mm. Come on, buddy. Hop in. There we go. Oh, wait, no. It wasn't... Ratchet and Clank that did the weird space battles? I think, well, I mean, eventually they did, but... Uh, let's go to Metropolis. Uh, let's go. It was Kingdom Hearts. That's right, in between going on, you had to... Oh, I remember. Huh, I'm such an idiot. Excuse me. There we go, we're at Metropolis. Planet Kerr 1. I thought I went to Metropolis. Oh. Oh, maybe I did. That seems like it. Alright, let's let it save. Let's... Yes. Okay. Thank you guys for, uh, let's delete this. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching Holty's Hunt. Um, the, our first episode of Ratchet and Clank. Yeah, I think this is going to be a great series. I'm actually looking forward to this. So yeah, I hope to see you guys next time here on Holty's Hunt, where you guys know the hunt will continue.
I'll see you later. Bye.